So, 15 seasons now. What are some of the changes that you've seen in this this upcoming season? Well, I don't know that there's a, a great deal of changes, but we've gone back to where the judges get to pick, and that, nice. I think that's the biggest change. I do know that a lot of the fans wanted that to happen, mm-hmm. and I think the show listens to the fans, you know, and I think uh, they'll be happy that uh, they did listen because... Uh, um, I didn't really like it myself sitting at home because I couldn't see, I couldn't see their journey every step of the way. I want to see that. Last year, you only see a little teeny bit of clips from the Academy Week. It didn't give me the feeling of how hard someone struggled, who improved the most. So I missed out on that last year. So I love seeing the All Stars dancing with them, and then the All Stars are going to come into this at the end of the week and next week and do a solo with all the contestants. But at least right now we're going to pick who goes on to the show and I think uh, um, you know people yelled for it and we listened and here we go that's the biggest change in the format this season so what do you think is what drives the fans to always keep coming back for the show because it's so good it does and it features so many different types of dance techniques yeah, I, I don't think there's another show on television right now that asks of the contestants what we do. It is extremely strenuous show. Um, you have people doing lifts, and I can tell you from doing lifts in my career that none of them were easy. I had to practice a long time getting the timing to get up into one and to come down out of one. They've got no time. I don't. So when someone does that, they do lifts and they do all these things that their body has never done before, and they accomplish it and they get it to a level where it feels. Or, you know, it gets connected to us. It's extraordinary to me. I could have never done that. People are always saying, yeah, Mary, but when you were younger, you could be on. So you're thinking, yeah, oh, no, no, man. You don't know. You don't get it. What these kids are doing is extraordinary. I could do it. I would just want like six months, three months to perfect something to get it. They don't get that luxury. They have to get up there and dance their hearts out, not really knowing it. And that blows my mind. It hurts my mind sometimes to watch somebody that is having an extraordinary moment up there, like two hip hop dancers, and, and all of a sudden they're doing a quick step, and they only had six hours. I mean, that hurts me. <laughs> that's the one thing that's great about you. You as a judge too is the fact that you're tough on them yeah. but you're also very funny and yeah. you make it very great for the audience what has been able to keep that stamina for you after 15 years? oh shoot that's the easiest thing in the whole world you know we're not on all year for one thing yeah. so by the time you know we come back and go on auditions you know i'm like starving for it and also when the show ends in the finale i'm so hard on everybody around me when i go back because i look at my own clients and i'm saying you know like why aren't you getting that you know they get it in six hours you've had four years now what's you know? so i have to chill back a little bit when i go back home because this is like you know an upper speed level type of competition too as far as trying to memorize i mean you think about it you got to memorize you get doing it to music that you don't know most likely and you might be lucky that it's some music that you know but then you might have done a routine to that music before and now you've got that jumbled in your brain so all kinds of things can be happening during this that messes with your emotions <laughs> i don't know how i couldn't do it at all i know i know so out of all the new, last question, so for after all the new steps and all the new dances that you've seen out in the world today, what have you been kind of like gravitating to and which looks cool for you? Oh, I don't know. You know, I think in all the styles, you gravitate to what somebody when you see extraordinary. You know what I mean? It wouldn't matter if it's hip hop. There was a lady this uh, in an audition. You know, she was from the Ukraine, and she was kind of like a bone breaker. Yeah, but she took it to an artistic level. I mean, I just love it when somebody comes through with something new and different, and you're like sitting there, you're like you think you've seen it all, and then whoa, who are you? Where'd you come from? And wow, you're a treasure. You know, and at least, you know, for whatever reason, uh, you know, probably working visa, she didn't end up on the show. But from that one, I'm sure we'll show her. And from that, she'll probably get work around the world. It was that special. <laughs> that's, that's always good to hear and yes, good to know. Yeah. But thank you very much for stopping uh, us. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching Muse. If you like what you saw, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click on all the other videos you see to watch more of our content.